Hello everyone and welcome to the Transfer Bros. Today I'm doing something really special. Now I know you've probably seen these on Football Manager videos. But today we're doing it on Soccer Manager. And it's a little bit harder on Soccer Manager because you don't have the ed edit option that you do in Football Manager. But I'm, I've tried my best to kind of figure things out. Now we're going to see if Barcelona can succeed and can win. Cups, trophies, however m many matches without Messi, Neymar, and Suarez. Now, MSN, everyone knows, is one of the biggest attacking fronts. Well, now it's kind of gone because Neymar's gone to PSG. But I want to see if that old MSN team, if they took them, the whole team off, what, how, would, how would Barcelona do? Anyway, so basically what we, do, what we did is we're going to transfer list. Messi, Suarez, and Neymar because you can't edit, like I said before, in this game. So we're going to transfer list them. We're going to sell them off to clubs. And then I'm going to do a full season with these guys, the, the guys that are left. And we're, I'm going to catch the whole thing. It's just going to be one full season in one whole episode. And basically we're going to check at the halfway and we're going to check the, at the end. Anyway, first thing first, Messi actually went to Sevilla. And what's really, really funny is that the price that he went for is ridiculously low. Suarez went over to Chelsea. And it's not going to show right now, but Neymar also went to Chelsea. So now we're going to skip into the halfway point and we're going to see how it goes. Hello everyone, we're back now in January. And... I just can't wait to see what's going on. Let's go and check out what's happening here. Is anything new going on? Did anything different happen? Let's see if maybe we're still number uh, we're number one at the top. Maybe everyone is pulling up their pace or who knows? We could be in relegation zone. Anyway, guys, as you guys can see, we're actually in fourth place. Fourth place. We have Valencia above us at fourth. And we have a fifth Sevilla, which has Lionel Messi on it. And they're doing pretty good. As you guys can see here, for top goal scorers, we have uh, Alcocer, who is right there, I believe, like at 4th or 5th, but basically nobody else. Not, I mean, we have someone a little bit, we have like two more people down there, but as you guys can see, n not too much going on. At the assist area, it's even worse, because the only guy at top, probably 10, is Iniesta. And while Iniesta is good, he's super old, and I don't know if anyone else will be able to... If, I mean, I don't know if anyone else can pick up their pace. As you guys can see, Iniesta is doing amazing for us on the assists, and Alcacer is doing amazing for us on the goals. We do have a couple other guys on the goals who are picking up their pace, but it's gonna ha we're going to have to see how this goes on to the second half of the season. Can more goals, can we put in more goals, can we stay at the top? And can we even get number one? Also, I wanted to check attendance. Like, are people still showing up? Because, you know, Messi, Suarez, and Neymar were the big stars. But, yeah, they are. Actually, we're still number one in attendance, which is crazy. Which, <laughs> these fans must be super loyal. Because you have the top three guys, the guys everyone talks about, gone. And you still have the best attendance. While Madrid still has... Uh, Christian Ronaldo, Garrett Bale, Karim Benzema, Sergio Ramos. And so the challenge is to see if we can get this, if we can keep this up, if we can keep the attendance up. And so, um, as you guys can see, these are the fixtures going on. And these are all the matches that we passed. As you guys can see, it's, it, it, we're not really winning a lot of matches. It's Well, I mean, we're winning, but it, we're not keeping that streak up. It's like a win-lose tie streak. We're losing to some teams, but we're winning to others. And it's just like, if we had the full MSN, we would probably be demolishing the league right now. Anyway, as you guys can see, we got not As you guys are about to see right now, actually, we got knocked out of the Spanish Cup right in the middle. Well, in the second round. So, we're not going to win Spanish Cup. We got, we got knocked out by, by Athletic, and that's just... That's not helping us. And as you're about to see, we're about to transition over to the Champions League. As you're about, you're going to see in a moment. We also 
also got knocked out of the Champions League. You're about to see it right now. We're, I believe we're in third place. And, um, but yeah, yeah, basically we're in third place. Besiktas is right below us, but we got knocked out of the Champions League. So now we're going to cut to the end of the season. We're going to see, did we stay in the top four? Did we get number one? Let's go, guys. Okay, I'm back and it's pretty much over. We finished off number four in the league, which sucks, but we don't have any top players. So it's actually pretty good for La Liga. Anyway, Sevilla did get better. Messi doing his job, uh, probably performing out of this world like always. Got them in third place. And as we're about to see right now, unbelievable. <laughs> this guy, Alcarson, I believe that's how he's, I don't know how to say his name. Sorry if I'm butchering his name. He got 30 goals. Can you believe it? 30 goals in the league. The most goals in the whole season was scored by him. Unbelievable. Unreal. I mean, this guy is really, really good. He had more goals than Messi and Ronaldo did in the league. That's sensational. I mean, I just, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, you know. You give the guy a chance and he makes it do. Iniesta also stayed up there in like the top, what, sixth assists. And that's awesome as well because he's a fantastic player. And that just shows, man, the guy's, the guy is just, he's great. Even in his old age, he's breaking records. Now we're going to check back with all the with MSN and see how all three of them did. Messi did okay. I mean, you expect more goals out of Messi. But he had 9 goals, 9 assists. Average rating, he was a fantastic player nonetheless. But he didn't perform like we wanted him to. Or, I mean, we thought he would. He's Messi. We usually think he's going to score 40 goals every game. But, I mean, 40 goals every season, but he didn't. Suarez, on the other hand, had 11 goals and 35 appearances. Again, not really something you expect out of them. You Usually, in Barcelona, you expect him to be scoring 30, 40 goals. And here in Chelsea, he wasn't doing that. So, that just surprises us a lot more. And then, for Neymar, who's also in Chelsea, 17 goals, 4 assists, 4 men in the match, and 32 appearances. Great performance. It's kind of what I would expect from Neymar. He is um, a, a, an attacking midfielder. I don't really expect 30 goals from him every season. I don't know if you guys did. But I kind of see exactly what I expected from seeing from watching Neymar play. And, that's, and as you guys can see, Chelsea actually won the league. So Suarez and Neymar won the Premier League at number one. And of course they did. Chelsea had... Two of the best guys in the world, best players in the world, one of the best forwards in the world, one of the best attacking midfielders in the world, and I think Hazard is still on that team, so that's a dominant, dominant attack right there. So of course they probably won the league, I mean it was just fantastic. Anyway guys, thank you for watching the video, this is the first experiment I've ever done, and I wanted to see how you guys uh, like it or if you don't. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do more. Give me suggestions. Which ones do you want me to try out? Which ones do you want me to do? Do you want a part 2 with this? I don't know. This is the first time I'm testing this out. But I really want to see if I can make this successful. And if I can try these new things out. Especially with Soccer Manager 2018 coming out. I will be doing a lot of coverage on Soccer Manager 2018. Once again, I apologize if you are following my Real Madrid careers and you saw me kind of skip out in the middle of those careers. I had a lot of school and I really didn't know how I could do it without that going on, without how I could do the videos and concentrate on school. But I finally figured out a way to do this and I just think it's going to be fabulous and fantastic. So keep subscribed. Don't unsubscribe. I'm going to do my best to get... Soccer Manager 2018 footage, you know, uh, experiments. If if this works out, if you guys like these experiments, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get the the mansion mode. I'm gonna get just everything to make sure that you guys have everything you'd want. And 
that's just basically it, you know. I have nothing really else to say. Thank you so much for watching my videos, guys. Thank you for just everything. For the support. Thank you for comments. Thank you for everything. I don't get a lot of chances to say thank you to you guys. But, I, uh, but you know, really thank you. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I have like 93. <laughs> But, you know, it's just, it, it, I just, I like it. I like having people comment on the videos. You know, I don't, there's no ads on this video. I don't really make a lot of money from it. But you guys are awesome. Have a nice day, guys. God bless. And I'll see you guys later.